my name's uh, Garrett Kelly. I've been working at Anchor for three and a half years. Uh, I work in the fermentation department, although I've worked as a brewer and packaging as well in the past. And why would people want to join a union these days? Why wouldn't they? Um, in my time at Anchor, at, uh, Anchor Brewing Company, I've just seen a steady and systematic reduction in quality of life, wages, and benefits for our workers. And um, people are, are sick of it, we're fed up, and it's time to take action, and that's exactly what we're doing. And survival, wages, what's the conditions for brewery workers? They used to be the highest paid workers in San Francisco at one time. It well, used to be a brewery city. I, I can't speak to that, but I can tell you for sure that we're not now. Um, and we're looking to do something about that for sure. It's difficult. Um, Anchor used to be one of the one of the best jobs in San Francisco, and um, now we've got folks that are struggling to survive on minimum wage. And uh, we don't think that's right, and it's uh, it's time to make a change. And you've picked the ILW. Why, why that union? Uh, it seemed like a great fit. Um, they've been very receptive to us. We like that the, um, the ILWU um, grants a lot of autonomy to their union, so that kind of gives us a lot of leeway there. Um, and also it just makes sense with our distribution network and uh, the kind of who we work with, the ILWU makes a lot of sense as a partnership. And labor is under attack in this country. I mean, uh, young people feel that they have less and less future in, in the system. Is that the case for workers at Anchor, Steam? Absolutely. Labor's been under attack forever. That's that's nothing new here. Um, fortunately, we're not getting machine gunned by Pinkertons. We just get mean emails from HR. Um, but we're, uh, you know, I think I think the important thing is rather than uh, people giving into despair, realizing that they have power and us coming together and, and making a change. Well, the ILW has a long history, collective power. Do you know about that history? Uh, absolutely. We're we're thrilled with the history of the ILWU, and we're very proud and excited to take part in that today. And has the union tried to dissuade people from, from becoming members or supporting the union effort? I'm, I'm sorry, has the they tried to stop it or dissuade people? You union? don't need a union? No, the company. Oh. You don't need a union? And that kind of thing. Uh, the company has told us that their stance will be neutral, and um, we're hoping that they will continue to act in good faith and, and live up to that promise that they've made us. And Sapporo is uh, the biggest uh, brewery company in Japan. Uh, you have any words with the Sapporo workers in Japan? The Sapporo workers are unionized, um, so we, we hope that they're, uh, you know, that they've got a good contract, and if not, we, we show full solidarity with them. Uh, but I think it's important to mention that the Sapporo Brewery in Japan is unionized. Uh, Sleeman, which is another brewery that they recently acquired in Canada, also union. So I think it makes sense, you know, all of Sapporo should be union. My name is Augustine Ramirez. I'm the lead organizer for the International Longshore and Warehouse Union. And this is a beer in tonight? <laughs> yeah, this, we're here today to raise our anchor in support of the workers. And what's happening with them? Why have they decided to join a union and also the ILWU? Well, th these workers have been uh, suffering a lot here at, at Anchor. A lot, a lot of these workers are only making, are only working 29 hours or less. And how can you live with that kind of amount? Budweiser, yeah. Correct. Yeah, most of the macro breweries, um, AB InBev, Miller Coors, uh, those larger companies are our union and they have been for quite some time. And if you're successful in organizing, are there other micro breweries that are going to be unionized? It seems there are a lot of them all over the United States. I've, I think the um, I think the stage is set, and I think there's a lot of potential for a widespread labor movement to happen within the craft beer industry. Absolutely, so you're pretty optimistic. I have nothing but optimistic. We've had nothing but success so far, and nothing but uh, positive signs moving forward from here. And, and the event tonight, what is it? A beer in or solidarity supporters? So tonight's an event where we just invited folks from the community to come out, buy an anchor beer, show their support. We have these stickers. It's good, it's good beer. Absolutely, it's fantastic beer, and it's going to be even better when it's Union. So. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Good. So what's your daughter? What's her name? She's my... My, my name is Faith. My granddaughter. It would be great if you could take her. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, okay, so why don't you talk about the efforts of the ILW? I know you've got also got a, a campaign going with the vet workers, the veterinarian workers. Is there a growing tide of working people wanting to become union in San Francisco? Well, I, I think that uh, if you see, mo most of the workers here are struggling to live here in San Francisco. And I think that's what the, that's the motivating factor. Uh, these workers came to us back in April uh, of 2018, 
and we were glad and, 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 and we wanted to work with them and we started working with them since April uh, and to now we are in a position to file. We just filed for an, for with the NLRB last week with over 70 percent uh, uh, people supporting the union. So we're, we feel that we're very strong. And this is owned by Sapporo. It's a major company. And the guy, the brother here, said that they're union in Japan. Yes, they are. Uh, in Japan, they are union. Uh, this is this is owned by Sapporo Holdings. Uh, this is now going to be uh, uh, is Sapporo USA is going to be here. It's going to be based here in San Francisco, and they purchased Anchor, I believe, in, in uh, August of 2017. And it's a profitable business? We believe it's a very profitable business, uh, otherwise uh, uh, they won't be in the business. But uh, uh, as all beers, as all craft beers, they have been struggling for a bit. But uh, that I've spoken to some people that are in the industry. They say these are ups and downs of the industry. Right now, they they may be going for a little slump. But but beer is if, if you produce a great product, you're going to get a, a great support. San Francisco used to be a beer city. <laughs> there used to be a lot of breweries. Yes. Uh, and now I guess the unions are coming back with the with the micro. Well, uh, the, the microbrewers are, are the microbrewers are coming here. The craft beers is here, but so we we believe that that San Francisco could be the lead as as in many other things. If we're able to get a good contract here, maybe the we we hope that that other that other breweries that other craft beers breweries will see that what that it can be done and this will spread. And I, talking with the worker here, he said one of the reasons they chose the ILWU is it's a democratic union. The workers really run their, their own show. Is that the case? And the ILWU, I think that's one of the legacies of the ILWU. Uh, the inter I work for the international. We don't interfere. Once, once they, they are organized, they, they run their own, uh, their own shops. They elect their own bargaining committee, their own shop stores, and they, they determine their own future. As, as Harry Bridges said, give the, give the workers the information and they, would make, they will make the best decision for themselves. So that's from the bottom up. From the bottom up. Here too. Are you having fun? Yes. Good. What do you do with your granddad? Is this the first time you've been out? Yeah. But well, I've been out a lot of times. But to other rallies, she's been. She's yeah. Been, she likes to go around to the rallies. It's exciting. It's exciting yes. for the for the young young uh, people to see to see what what their parents do because I think they're the future. And if we if we put that that seed that they need to be that they need to respect worker rights, they will do it. And that is why I care. I, she comes with me because I hope that one day she'll be doing the same thing we are. We're standing for worker rights. Yeah, I need the ILWU. Sweet. Oh, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Hey.